714, we've been reporting on this for years. PFAS chemicals showed up in our drinking water. They're called forever chemicals because they disintegrate and are believed to be uh, dangerous to everyone's health. Yeah, now there's another worry. Meteorologist Vicki Graff is here to explain how these chemicals are showing up in some of our favorite beauty products. That's right, so PFAS are showing up in everything from makeup to shampoos, and now there's a push to make a Massachusetts leader in reducing people's exposure to this dangerous chemical. A degree in chemistry could be helpful when shopping for beauty products. I like to know the ingredients in a product, so if I can't pronounce them or I don't know what they are, I don't really like to buy them. Are you at all concerned when there are some big names that you can't pronounce? Um, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, it's never very clear what's in there and what it is and how it got there. <laughs> One family of chemicals, known as PFAS, are raising issues because of their prevalence in cosmetics and shampoos and the fact that they don't disintegrate. PFAS are concerning because they can cause major health impacts. The CDC says they could be linked to cancer, increased risk of asthma, thyroid disease, and fertility issues. Why is this category of products so concerning if they have the PFAS? There are thousands of products that have it when we're talking about makeup or other um, other products such as that are the ingestion level is so high because you're putting it on your face or your body it's just very close state representative Kate Hogan of Stowe is the house sponsor for a wide-ranging bill that would rein in exposure to PFAS not just in water but in fire gear housewares and yes makeup if we were to pass this bill it would really make us a leader in um, dealing, remediating, and removing PFAS from the environment. And that is where we like to be in Massachusetts. Our bill will be much more comprehensive than other bills that have been passed. All of the brands that you'll find for sale at Credo in our stores and online are compliant with the Credo Clean Standard and do not use any PFAS as intentional ingredients. Mia Davis is the Vice President of Sustainability and Impact at Credo Beauty. She says they make every effort to keep PFAS off their shelves, but admit these chemicals are so ever present that it can be impossible. Many of them are not even used intentionally, but they're showing up. Another challenge for shoppers, the Food and Drug Administration doesn't approve cosmetics and shampoos before they're on store shelves. They don't even require a full list of ingredients. Davis has this advice. I think when you see a uh, waterproof lasts for 24 hours uh, promise on a product, that you should be wary because there's some chemical in there that is making that fix to your skin and it might be PFAS. This shopper told me she'll be thinking differently about the products she buys in the future. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do that with my food, so I don't really know why I don't do that with my skincare stuff. <laughs> And if the bill becomes law, intentionally adding PFAS to a wide range of consumer products would be banned starting in 2026. We reached out to the Personal Care Products Council to get their reaction to the bill. And they provided a statement which said some of their members have already removed PFAS from their products. It went on to say, quote, nevertheless, our industry is committed to discontinuing the use of PFAS in our products and that our member companies take their responsibility for product safety and the trust families put in these products very seriously.